Hello and welcome to another Lies Over to unboxing. Today with Next and Re. Yeah, it's not on the box, at least not. Oh, it's there. It is actually. <laughs> but yeah, it's the third edition of uh, the collaboration with Nexton. And Nexton is like a yeah Japanese adult film company, or like yeah adult anime game, video game company. And there are, there are some designs that I don't like, like this one and this, like the very basic uh, looking 2000 anime character designs. I, I really don't like them, but there are some nice cards, especially in the higher rarities. Uh, from my past experience with the lies, there should be, oh, we have a box topper promo card. Uh, from my past experience, we should get one K rarity per box, like guaranteed as the biggest hit. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe we can get like a SP. There are sign cards and some. I have to check the card gallery. I have it on my second screen. Yeah, there are some X rarity. Okay, yeah, there are some. <laughs> Some very nice high rarity loot cards. Some kind of young looking characters. I don't know, maybe maybe it's if it's a very weird artwork, I will cut it out. But yeah, this is a this is a cute picture on the shirt. And yeah, of course, if you want to pick up this box, my partner store Pokeball has this box in store, shipping from Germany pretty fast to your hands so if you want this but I have first adjust the brightness because I'm too too white so let's go uh, yeah don't know the the characters since I've never played any of these these games but yeah we get at the end we get like a, a code card but from my experience you have to be in Japan to to get the rewards, so I have no use for these. Ah, what is it? Is it a K? No, it's SR. Okay, for a second I thought we already have the biggest hit. Uh, it's SR, it has some f texture in the, uh, in the background. No outlines stamped or, yeah. The lettering is not stamped either. But it looks nice, I like the coloring. And I do like the art style. I was scared that I would only get the the characters that I don't like. But luckily they, they have a variety of characters and art styles. So it's not always the 2000s anime. Yeah, some, some pretty characters. And some more like ninja warrior type. Or samurai girls. And I do like this. Maybe they are, are they from the same game? They look similar in, in design and art style. Maybe they are from the, the same game. Uh, where am I there? But yeah, the boxes are a little bit more on the expensive side. But yeah, there are a lot of cards in the box. So I think it's kind of worth it, especially course if you if you hit it big with a sign card which I don't know how the pull ratio are for them if they are only like one one per case I don't think there's only one per case but yeah since not not many people are opening these in the West I don't know how successful it is in Japan like I, I recently found a there was a Twitter picture of the sales in Japan of different TCGs. I think the 15 biggest. And of course, Pokemon is on number one. But I, yeah, I don't think there was lies under the 15th biggest. There was also not zillions of enemy eggs in the six, uh, 15 biggest sales wise which is pretty sad because I, I really think that zillions of enemy eggs is making great cards or like bro broccoli is like the company so they are producing the cards 
But yeah, I I would have guessed that it's at least under the 15 biggest. But yeah, I don't know how the the tournament environment is for Zillions of Enemy X if there are many stores carrying it. I was also recently commenting on the... Uh, it was a Pokemon v uh, YouTuber who was looking in stores in Akihabara, probably. Yeah, I think in Akihabara for cards of... Uh, for Pokemon cards. And I was commenting and asking him if he knows like stores for V-Cross and ZX and he, he told me he doesn't even know of these TCGs which is yeah it's so niche as I can still see like on my my views on the videos like not many people know of the TCG or even like are interested in Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh was just so big but yeah I was thinking about switching a little bit more into uh, yeah popular TCGs but I, I really don't want to <laughs> like it, part of me want of course like every content creator or YouTuber like want to grow and want that the videos I, I may get views and seen but I, I just don't want to do like One Piece or Yu-Gi-Oh! It's just not what I care about. And yeah, since it's still like a lot of money I have to spend on cards and YouTube is like not a business or like not making money. And not that super rare like Ninja. That's cool. But she has no no symbol. What she, what is your village? Is she like a, a ninja without a village? But yeah, I, I decided that I just do my thing on YouTube and if, if someone likes it, I'm very happy and if he decided to subscribe to my channel. But I don't want to do like uh, unboxings or like content just to get to more people. Like I knew that many people are interested in One Piece and looking at many channels that uh, are making content about One Piece. They get a lot of views, they are growing a lot. I really don't care so much about One Piece. I did one box and it was fun, but I never felt like the urge to... Oh, okay. To do an... Okay, to do another one. Okay, I'm very happy about this high hit. As I said, there is like 1k R guaranteed per box. And it's, I think it's, oh man, it's again in the last pack. So, I, I really would say that don't buy single packs. Because from all my boxes, there was always the KR rarity in the last pack. But yet, yeah, it's censored. And it's not like a, a very young character, which I'm super happy about. Since, yeah, there are like some some cards I wouldn't like to, to get or like to show on YouTube. Pretty happy with this pool and yeah. Tend characters are just superior, so. And there's a guy, man, I, I think I've pulled this before, but I just over-talked him. Disgusting. Like the stereotypical black haired self insert character guy for the video games, like in Sword Art Online or all of the other Isekai animes where the watcher can put himself into the anime with, yeah, the many waifus. And that's cute. Yeah, kimonos. Kimonos are great too. Every character with a kimono. But yeah, looking at the other KR rarities. Yeah, there are KRs that are more expensive, of course. And some other that look fine. Yeah, but there are also a lot of KRs that I would have not liked to get. And that I would have... Uh, oh, this is 60 points. That I would have to, to cut out. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with my KR. 
it's definitely one of the the be uh, better hits. But yeah, I guess there's like no chance to pull another big hit. At least from my experience, it's never it's never been like getting a KR and something, something else higher than a KR. Some duplicates and another SR. Yeah, she she has a little bit too big eyes for me, but the art style itself looks nice. It's just weird to me that the the SR cards they as I said they have a very subtle texture in the background and the KR has no texture. So from from a card manufacturer standpoint, the SR feels better to me because of the texture, I don't know. That's weird. And we got another Oh, it's a C a CP. Huh. Very weird. Isn't is like the lettering CP standing for something else? Would be ah. Let's change the topic. It's the last last peg of the box. So yeah, thank you for watching. I don't know if I will just uh if I will continue to open lies since it's yeah expensive and I'm more into to V Cross and ZX, but yeah, for more unboxings of maybe other TCGs, uh check out my channel and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I, I do live streams from time to time. In which I will be opening a lot of different TCGs, so maybe you, you want to chat a little bit and say hello. And yeah, thank you for watching. See you in my next unboxing. Bye.